right, so uh, a gentleman called me a couple of weeks ago and he was actually in town for some type of training and uh, wanted to come by and see the shop. Uh, he was excited to see it and I said, well, what the heck, you know, come on by, we'll drink a beer. And that leads to talking about cars and it leads to talking about what he's got. And he's got a few cars he wants to sell because he wants to fill his garage up with uh, race cars. If you buy old cars, they usually appreciated money. Race cars, they just lose money. So let's see if we can get bought. What's happening, sir? Richard Rollins. Yes, sir. The one and only. Hey, what's what's up with the gun, man? We come uh, being friendly. Well, you never you never know. You never know. Um, well, uh, here's kind of where my magic happens at Hobbs Racing and Gunslinger Ammo. You said you make bullets. That's that's true. I make uh, nine millimeter and forty five ACP. God's caliber. There forging, you go. Forging the currency of freedom. Um, Richard, <laughs> I, I gotta say, uh, you roll up here with these rigs and everything. I hope you brought some cash. I brought cash. When I, when I come to play, I bring cash and trailers because I don't want anybody changing their mind. Okay, well, I've got a couple of good uh, cars here I think you're interested in. You told me you like Model A's. You told me you like 63 C10 Chevrolet trucks. Uh, well, I like any kind of truck right now. It's, it's uh, not only Texas, uh, trucks are hot. Well, um, I don't want race cars, though. No race cars. No race. See, things like this appreciate in, in value, and race cars just drop money down the toilet. Yeah, doesn't my wife know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's talk about the F1. What's up with that? The 53 hasn't run in a while, as you can tell, but I've got I've got plans for it. Um, we're going to make that one into a uh, an enduro race car. That's the plan for that one. So enduro is. 300 laps, no cautions. Uh, they'll push you off the track if you wreck, but other than that, there's no stopping. It's uh, like at Texas Motors, uh, Te Devil's Bowl Speedway. So Devil's just Bowl. go until it's over. Just go until it's over. So that one, I'm sorry to say, is that's off the block. It's not for sale. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. So. All right. So uh, what about the Ford here? This is, uh, you told me about this one. It's a long bed, but it's a V8 truck, right? It's a V8 truck. I actually bought it from the original owner. Um, automatic transmission, power steering, AM radio, uh, under dash air conditioning. It's all complete. It's all here. Yeah. And um, you'd be surprised how many horns don't work. <laughs> so this one, this one, I could, I could deal on this one today. Okay. How long have you had it? Um, I've probably had it 20 years. What? 20 years, maybe 25. I've had it a long time. The only thing I've done for 20 years is whack off. <laughs> They're always under the letter R. Everything is. Boom. Nice. That's clean. <sighs> but, uh, you left side or right well, side. now that Always is when I did run in a hole one time, and that's the Always. only blemish on the truck. I wish it wasn't there, but every Ford truck got that same, got that same blemish. <laughs> what's the deal? Uh, what's the floorboards look like, Chase? Well, clean, let's clean. let's have a look. Let's see what we got. That was bona fide rest free. Yeah, the bed looks good. Be way cooler if it was a short bed. It would be. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the original, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's got the original jack right here. Will it start? Um, now that's the $64,000 question. It wants to. Do we even check the gas? Well, it says E. <laughs> well, then it must be out of gas. When was the last time you did run it? It's been a while. It's been a long while. It's been a long while. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. But it is clean and it is rust free, which is cool. And power steering, power brakes, and AC is not nothing to snap at either. Did you just double check to see if I knew I'd turn one of these off? <laughs> no, I had to get the original key to the Model A. Oh, okay. I was like, Man, which by the way, the original <laughs> keys to a Model A, you know who made them? Who? Briggs and Stratton. Really? Briggs and Stratton made the keys for the Model A, the original ones. And here's the original key. So do you like this one? Do you think you might want this one? It's possible. Okay. What do you what do you think what do you think you want for this one? That's a $5,000 truck. If it was a short bed, but we'll, we'll, maybe we'll make a package deal. Let's take a look at what else we got. All right. I'm, I'm all in for a package deal. Um, That's a good looking truck. Yeah. It really is. A little bit. Now the history on this truck, it came from San Saba, Texas. San Saba? What is then, special about San Saba? Nothing. 
But then the truck went to Arizona. It lived in Mesa, Arizona all its life, and I bought it in San Diego, California. That's why it's rust free. It lived in the desert. So this is non-restored? This, this, is, this has been painted. Paint. And I bought it. Only. It's been painted, and uh, I bought it from the shop in San Diego. The only thing they changed, which I don't really care for, is they went from the three speed on the column down to the floorboard, and I don't like that. But. What are you saying about the cab corners? Oh, they're freaking perfect. Huh. Another V8 power steering and power brakes in this car. Does this one run, drive, do everything it's supposed to do? Well, do you want to take it around the block? Well, let's look at all of them first, then okay. we'll decide which one we want to drive. Okay. But this one will run and drive? Runs and drives. Well, it was inspected a couple of years ago, so that's good. You think you might be interested in it? I'm always interested. I didn't drive three hours for nothing. I was thinking the same thing. Okay. How much is this truck? Uh, you know, there's a lot of meat on the bone for both of us on this truck. That's a $12,000 truck all day long. Hmm. Okay. Now we got a Model A. All right. Now, you know I know these. You're not going to get the wool over my eyes on this. I understand that you know the Model A's. Now, this is the Deluxe Coupe with the rumble seat. Yep. And maybe some of the monkeys don't know, but I know you know what makes one a Deluxe. The Deluxe had the running lights yes. and the chrome right here. Correct. That made it a Deluxe. Correct. And Price then goes up. You could, you could order the, the spare mounts for one side or both. Or both. Where in the world are you finding all these things with no patch pads? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This car has an old paint job on it. Other than that, it's all original. Yes, it is. It's never been hot. It's the six volt negative, or excuse me, positive ground system, six volt. Mechanical brakes, not the juicy brakes. All original. I bought it from the second owner in Shawnee, Oklahoma. That just snaps in right there. Well, Surely you've got a mechanic. Place as a that was my wife's idea. That's a wooga horn. She, uh, Does it work? I don't think it works. Brrr. But the, uh, um, this car's never been apart, like not even like restored, you know, torn apart and restored. It was bought from the second owner. Now I've owned a lot of these things. Does this one run and drive? Runs and drives. That's a good car. It hasn't, but, even, hasn't even been messed up up here. This is, uh, the original style, the way they would have done this top, and you know, most of the time you find these, they're all silicone or half-ass welded, or that's really You definitely cool. know your Model A's. Now, as you know, Richard, when you bought a Model A, you also got your, your kit that every owner got. You got your jack, you got your oil can, you got your tire gauge in the original leather pouch. You always got your, uh, your tools and your crank, everything says Ford on it. Here is the complete wiring harness for a Model A. Mm -hmm. The complete wiring harness. This is a brand new, well, rebuilt. Speedometer, speedometer. odometer. So odometer. Everything. So it'll have uh, no miles. It'll have no miles. Um, those are the uh, upgraded uh, motor Engine. mounts, transmission mounts, mm -hmm. uh, belts, hoses. The cool thing was you didn't you didn't have a temperature gauge. You had a thermometer right there. Correct. Yeah. So as you drove down the road, when you saw the mercury in the thermometer move up, you knew the temperature of your engine. How cool was that? Well, you just knew things were going bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the uh, the windshield wipers are vacuum actuated. In other words, they don't go, they don't work when you're going up the hill. This was the uh, vacuum engine, the little vacuum motor for the windshield wipers. It went bad. So I contacted my friend in Florida and bought a rebuilt one. And the windshield wiper. Brass tire pump. That came with the car. When you bought when you bought Look the car, that. you got a board right there. Yeah. And what? there was your there was your windshield wiper. Oh yeah. So in a, in a downpour, you know, you could still see. Well, that's because you weren't moving far enough. <laughs> you weren't going that You weren't fast. moving fast enough. Now, when I've I, actually never seen one of these. I knew they were out there, but I've never touched one in person. And there was the tool pouch that came with it. All right, so we're, you got five on the old gray, as you called her, but she's like sea mist blue or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, the 63, you think 12. So um, you know I know these, and I know them like the back of my hand. So what do you think it's worth? Well, you're the expert. You tell me. What is, what is it worth? Well, right now you got, you know, this uh, epidemic going on, and How much were they new? this car is probably seven hundred bucks, six hundred oh, bucks. 
<laughs> Might have been 350. I haven't Googled that in forever. I don't think I need your help, Sean. I don't think I need your help. Yeah, I'll, du I'll, double, I'll double what the new price was. So the sticker price twice would, would buy this car. No. Uh, seriously, though, I think it's a $6,000 car. You know, it, it should be more. It used to be more. I agree they used to be more. Um, with, with so much parts that comes with the car, and, you know, let's be honest, once you brand it, once you clean it up, uh, maybe, maybe just uh, I wouldn't touch the it. engine. I'm thinking this is a $10,000 car all day long. Well, you're at, that's 10 and 12 and five, that's $27,000 for all three. Well, I agree with you. The model, the model A market is not as hot as it used to be. Everybody just wants to build it, so they're, they're just looking for bodies. And this is too cool a car to tear apart. It really is. And you find the right owner that doesn't want to tear it apart, that has the parts, the tools, the jack, the oil can. Most everything. of them are your age with grandkids they want to put in the back of the parade. Exactly. Yeah, That's, I'm not doing that. You're not doing that. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to get 10. You'd like to give me six. Let's meet in the middle. 8,000. Well, I'm still adding here. We're okay. at 27,000. You dropped a little bit. Now we're down to 25. We're, we're moving in the right direction. All right. I like the parts, but that's just more parts. I probably got buckets of that stuff at my house. Okay. Well, <sighs> all right. Let's, uh, I think the big money maker is, is the 63. So let's go for riding that. And then I'll take your word on the Model A. I've driven a million of these and it's like riding a tractor. Okay. So uh, let's see how this thing does. Thing drives like great not like sort of good all right oh i wish that was a short bed power steering automatic transmission no they're great i mean you got a power steering power brakes ac you got same thing here and uh and a really one of the more original model a's i've seen in a long time and you want to make a package deal i would be interested in all of them well we're, at, we're, you know, basically five and 12 and 10 is 27. And you said you'd knock a couple off of that. So that's 25. I want to be at 20. Well, I'm taking all three. You get to go buy race cars. You get your whole shop to buy race cars and bullets. Boss is happy. Yeah, the wife's happy. Would you be interested in anything else? Maybe if you got something. I got something kind of cool. Come look at this. Okay. This is uh, the Honda CT70, Trail 70, 1972 model. Did you have one when you were 10 years old? I never had one of these. I went right into an Enduro. So either you had one when you were 10 or you knew the kid that did have one, and these things were great. And um, this little guy here, uh, my father bought it for me when I was 10 years old. You've had this bike for how long? I've had that bike for 48 years. Wow. I have the original title with my father's signature on it. Well, why in the world would you sell it? Well, I figured you'd buy it and just put it in your collection. It's a good pit bike. It's too good of a pit bike. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a race car with well, it's car. obviously been restored. It's been restored. It was restored about five years ago. Okay, so we got a little bit of pitting in the chrome, but nothing that, you know, runs and drives, does everything it's supposed to do. Uh, runs and drives. Remember the fuel tank went underneath here, had the little tiny 12 volt battery right there. Um, Runs and drives. I feel like I was taking your, your, your young daughter or something. You've had this mm. for 48 years. That'd be an old daughter, I guess. <laughs> She's 20. <laughs> <laughs> so we might come back to this. We might come back to this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like going back in the time machine. What do you, what do you think this is worth? Because I've been watching these, and I've got a big collection I just bought out of uh, Minnesota that has 237 motorcycles in it, and it doesn't have one of these. That's a $3,000 motorcycle. <laughs> Go on eBay and look at them. There's stupid prices on them. I understand. I know what you're saying. Mm. But I mean, say, so was it new? It was brand new. So you're the original owner and it's brand new. The original title is sitting on my desk in my office. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I don't know. So it's free with purchase if I buy all three? Well, you know, we were talking about the F100, 
the the C10 Chevrolet, the Model A, you were offering me for those three, we're talking. You wanted 25, I want to be at 20. Okay. So we throw this in for three, that makes me 23. If we throw this one in, that would make it for you 23. I would like to get 25 for everybody. Yeah, I can't do that. Tw with this even included? Because mm -mm, this isn't 5,000. It's three. And the chrome's pitted, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave the mileage? Oh, no, you re when you restored it, you I rode the it mileage. for 23 miles. Ah, goodness. I had to. I had a parade to go through. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I get the feeling you're not too hot on this. I am hot on this. I love this. Okay, you love this. This is really great at two. At two. That's why I'm at 23. You're at 23 for one, two, three, four vehicles. Mm -hmm. All with clear title. Yes. You're at 23. Yes. And I'm at 25. Yes. And you're not budging off 23? I don't really want to. I'm pretty firm at 25. I'd rather be 23. I'd rather be 25. Mm. Well, wait a minute. I've read your book. Okay. I know you it's were a short a read. Yeah, I, and, and I know you were a policeman. Yes. And as a, as a policeman, you had to train with weapons, didn't you? We're going back <laughs> almost 30 years. Well, actually, we are going back 30 years. Well. It was actually 31 years ago that I got my police certification. Well, it was 48 years ago that I got this bike. Well. Yeah. What I'm proposing is, how about a, a gentleman's wager? What are we going to do? Have guns and, 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 and march and shoot? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You did, bring a, you did bring a gun, right? These guys brought guns. We're in Texas. We have guns. <laughs> of course we have guns. And you know I make bullets. Okay. So we're good on that. All right. So we're good on bullets. Okay. If you're agreeable, if you're agreeable, then what we can do is we can, I don't know, have a target practice and then a shoot off one shot closest closest to the bullseye if I get closer to the bullseye we're at 25 but we're on your land with your bullets and your target and I haven't shot a gun in probably 15 years you'll do fine you'll do fine oh we spit him three times <laughs> <laughs> so I know what you're doing this is some kind of shameless plug for gunslinger ammo right gunslinger ammo forging the currency of freedom get yours today Forging the currency of freedom. Exactly. Have you have you trademarked that? That's no, pretty yeah, good. I guess I should. Yeah. <laughs> you should be doing it. What? So what do you what do you got here? What are you proposing? What I propose is, you're at 23 and I'm at 25. Yeah. And you're agreeable to a gentleman's wager, and you know I make the bullets. And if you'll notice, I've got the target set up. And it's legal? It's legal. We're good to do this it's here. It's legal to do this. I'll and do all it. All my neighbors, see, they, they know that I test my product. And whenever they said, hey, are you shooting bullets? Of course I am. Here, would you like a box? Yes, I would. So I give, my, I give ammunition to my neighbors. You're not exactly running down the street and buying some. Cause Correct, because I make my it's own. It's all sold out. So what you see there is the targets in front of you. You'll take one shot at your target, I'll take one shot at my target. Whoever's closest to the bullseye gets to get their price. Are, okay. you, are you game for that? I, I sort of am, but I haven't shot a gun in 15 years. The last time I heard a gun go off, I actually got shot. And uh, <laughs> that's a long story. We'll tell you later or read the book. But uh, It's in the book. I've read yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, I haven't even, I mean, I know you told me to bring my gun, and I did. I was like, well, I don't really have a gun, so uh, I went and bought one. So I got a brand new uh, Beretta 45 that uh, I haven't even shot ever. It hadn't been loaded. You've got a brand new Beretta 45? Huh? ACP. That's God's caliber. That's right. Um, Richard, go get that gun. All right, go I'll do it. it. If you're willing to uh, to do this shot, one shot closest to the bullseye, I'm, I'm game. Okay. So why don't we, uh, I, I'd kind of like to I've see. I've done this before. Okay, I want to see how you shoot. Well, why? It's your range, your guns, your bullets. I have a feeling you might win on this one. I was thinking the same thing, but maybe you need some practice. I'm glad you gave me these uh, Tiger King uh, headphones. They're great. All right. Well, step up to the target and let's show us what you got. Dynamite blows up oh. everything. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 show me the dynamite. Dynamite blows up everything. Off your oh, shit. <laughs> I 
think I kind of have my work cut out for me, but we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Wait a second, why are you so close? I was back here. You're standing in the ant bed. Hey, you guys better take cover. Oh yeah, I get you some of that. Do you want to sell that one? Huh? That's a damn good shooting gun. It's a nice gun. Well, Chase lubed that one, but he didn't lube this one, so I think that's the problem. Oh. I haven't cleaned that one since I shot. It's very nice. I lube everything before I use it, <laughs> even if it doesn't need it. Let's get this over with so I can have some beer. I was thinking the same thing. Now, Richard, obviously you can shoot and you're pretty good. And we've had a lot of practice and I can kind of tell I got my work cut out for me, but now one shot wins. With a fresh target. With a fresh target. So this is your money shot. <laughs> <laughs> my dad invented the money shot back in the 60s. <laughs> All right, sir. I went first last time. You go first this time. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, wait a second. You're on the target on the left, right? Shoot the right. Well, I'm actually tempted to shoot that target too, but I don't care. Left target. What? <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, what do you think about that? Oh, in your house, in your range, with your bullets. <laughs> That's because you're shooting gunslinger ammo. That's because that. <laughs> That's because of gunslinger ammo. You're such a good shot. Ah, oh. look at that. Thank you, sir. Wow. Woo! Get some of that. That was a money shot. Hey. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to load. Well, Richard, I must say, uh, I am the gunslinger of gunslinger ammo, and you outshot me. And uh, I'm telling you, that's uh, pretty amazing. So, Might have been luck. I don't know. You know, I read your book. I know you're a police officer. You shot well. And uh, that did save you some cash. There you go. So, so 10, 20, and 3. And I got myself a, a Mini Trail 70, a Model A, a 63 short bed, and a uh, 70 Ford long bed. I've just got to say, you're the gunslinger. No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Forging the currency of freedom. Get yours today. Gunslinger ammo. Boom. That's almost like get you some of that, but I got me some of these. So we got to load them and get gone. Time to get back to Dallas. It's Friday night and I got to take my girl dancing. No, we can kill it. It's going to sit there and get hot. Where's your beer, man? Oh, shit. I dropped it before I was even supposed to do it. I'm about to go in the house and go get me one. I know, but I can't take that Honda. So you give me my money back. I can't take a guy's 48-year possession. Are you sure? I just wanted you to sweat it out for a little while. I'm not an asshole. I'm a man I'm, of my word. But I'm a good guy. Were well, you probably going to keep the Honda? Oh, you know me, everything's for sale. I mean, it'd sit around until somebody offered me enough money, but uh, I can't do that. You had that thing for 48 years since it was brand new. That's the wrong thing to do. So you want me to buy it back from you? Well, no, I just, we, you know, we were shooting between two grand, so <laughs> give me two grand. And you we'll got call deal. it done. You got a deal. If your monkeys will unload it for me. Oh, they'll unload it. All right. Well, title's in here. Title, everything's in there. All right. Just like it was when well, your dad bought it. Well, let me go. 48 get, years ago. Let me go get some cash money for you because I know you like cash. Well, I just gave you cash. What do you think I was going to do? Take a check? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> well, let me let me let me talk to the Minister of War and Finance and I'll be right back. All right. Well, oh, she honey. wants if she wants me to keep oh, it, I will. Honey. <laughs> I can't do that. That's not the right thing. Bullshit, man. I should have kept it.
Just one of those ones with a little thing around it's about right. No. <laughs> you made me lose count, Richard. You only got to four. One, two, three, four. There's 500, six, seven, eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want that old one. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's ugly. Okay, I don't you're even right. know what that is. Nine, ten. Wait a second. No, no, no. Six. You're starting at six. This six, is five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're at 1,000. There's 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we are. There you are. No, I, we said 3,000, right? We no. said two. <laughs> we said two. All right. Well, I can't do that, man. Pleasure, pleasure doing business. But the, 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 here's the deal. If you do sell it, I get the first call. Well, did you sign the title? Because you owned it I for about 20 it. minutes. I didn't touch it. Well, you should have signed the title. Oh, yeah, I should have. You should have signed the title because you owned it for what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Do you know what I would have made on that? I think I would have got 7500 for it. I don't doubt that. It's a good story, and I couldn't do that somebody. All right. Especially as generous as you've been. You fed us. <laughs> you gave me beer, and you let me shoot your guns and, your, and your, uh, use your bullets. Well, this is a good deal. And you shot gunslinger ammo. And you outshot me. There that, you go. That in itself. That's right. right. See, that's, gunslinger that's ammo grand. will make you a better <laughs> shot. Because <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> remember, gunslinger ammo is forging the currency of freedom. Get yours today. I see this guy on billboards already. <laughs> You've got a long way to go, my man. I know. <laughs> Good doing business with you, Richard. Well, I lost the biggest part of the profit by giving you that freaking Honda back. <laughs> but I'm a good guy. I hate being a good guy. <laughs> Is this one bought and paid for? Yeah, man. I just sold it 20 grand. Hoo -hoo! Tony's my man. Yeah. Now, you guys follow me over here and I'll show you a little something else we sold. Because we got rid of this package in a quickness. Hey, whoa. How'd you beat me over here? You were behind me. That's the magic of television, man. <laughs> See? We can do things in all kinds of order. Magic of television. Where's the Model A? I saw it going down the road. That's sold too. It's gone. That's gone, sold, paid for. How much? Uh, 14 grand. 14 grand? Double or nothing, yeah. Whew. We are making money on this deal. Didn't even have to flip or nothing. Let's go. Let me show you a little something about a green truck. All right, so here is where the story starts getting real interesting. We've already sold the 63, and we sold the Model A, and we're well into profit, and I had a guy come to buy this 1972 green F-250, all original truck, super nice, and what have you. Now, it's a long bed and it is an F-250, so it's not quite as nice as my 70 Ford that I got at this deal. And I asked the guy, I said, well, what are you gonna do with it? And he goes, well, Richard, he goes, I just bought an unbelievable, all original, always stored indoors, fifth wheel camper that is white with a green stripe and it's 1974. He goes, so I was gonna put them together as a package. And I'm like, I gotta see pictures on this, right? And he shows them to me on his phone and I'm like, and now I don't wanna sell you the truck, I wanna buy the camper. And he goes, well, I guess we can make a deal. And I said, well, you still need a truck though. I said, so forget about this truck, check out my 70 long bed, power steering, power brakes, AC, it's cool. And I'll trade you straight up for the camper. And he goes, sure, well, what the hell? So the camper's on its way down here from Minnesota. I got rid of the 70. I'm gonna have a kick-ass 74 setup with a 74 fifth wheel. So check this out. If you did your math and you watched the show and then you saw what I just told you, we got 20 for the 63, 14 for the Model A. We're well into profit. I had this truck sold, but I backed up the deal to trade for the 70 for the fifth wheel camper. I know it's confusing, but the bottom line is I made 13 grand on this package. 13 grand in less than a week. Get you some of that and give me a beer. Woo! God, Lee, I wish I had days like this all the time. Oh well, back to work.